The president's threatened trade war with Mexico would absolutely have a negative impact on Los Angeles. That from Mayor Eric Garcetti, who points it to the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach as a huge economic engine, responsible for one out of every nine jobs in this city and one out of every 200 jobs nationally. We want to make sure that that is a great gateway for trade, not just into the country, but also out of the country. And I would look forward to working with President Trump on boosting our exports. It's one of my priorities here. Only 1% of our companies export abroad. That's a great place for some common ground. But a trade war makes that tough to get American goods and American jobs out of that port, too. With President Trump laying out a plan to aggressively crack down on immigration, Mayor Garcetti said he will not back down on his policies protecting immigrants. If the president threatens to withhold any of the city's half a billion dollars in federal funding because of the city's immigration policies, Garcetti says he's prepared to take legal action. I think we're on very secure ground. There's, the United States Constitution says that you can't put a federal financial gun to the head of states and tell them what to do in exchange for funding. That was established by Justice Roberts just last year in the Supreme Court case on the Affordable Care Act. Uh, we also feel that the ethical argument and the practical argument are on our side. Despite the fact that Mayor Garcetti called President Trump a racist, a bigot, and a sexist during the campaign, he told me he's still hopeful that they will be able to work together and that the president will come to understand the value of immigration to economic success. You can find more from my interview on CNBC.com. Guys? Well, Julia, uh, the mood overall there uh, in California, which has uh, a, a history of immigration back and forth with Mexico, what is it? Because, I mean, there are a lot of different Californias. It's not all urban centers and cities that are Democratic. Well, I think that, you know, it's not all urban centers and cities, but Los Angeles is a massive economy. And I, Gar Garcetti yesterday pointed to the fact that immigrants are such an important part of the economy here, with the majority of businesses started by immigrants. Um, he just rattled off a string of statistics pointing to the importance um, of the immigrant community here. So I think that the mood here is concerned. I hear from a lot of people that they do feel like California is a very separate entity um, from the rest of the country. I mean, we've um, seen various studies saying that there are even a number of people here who believe that California should succeed, secede from the, from the United States. So I think that there is a sense of a great disconnect um, between what people here believe and uh, what President Trump is saying about the role of immigrants here. So it'll be really interesting to see, especially as the mayors of Los Angeles and San Francisco take a very strong stand that they're going to stick with their immigration policies. Yeah, they say all politics is local, Julia. I mean, we've seen different reactions from the mayors of cities like Miami uh, and certainly uh, reactions on different topics from the mayor of Philadelphia, for instance, yesterday uh, regarding homicide rates. So it's, it's as we all react to the new White House, it's certainly going to happen at the local level as well. Yeah, and yeah, yesterday I interviewed the mayor at this big tech jobs fair here, and the mood there was very positive. There were over 13,000 people there to meet with over 275 tech companies in Los Angeles, and when it came to the future of technology in L.A., the mood there was bullish. What happens with immigration, federal funding, that's soon to be seen. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.